Hey all you YouTubers and aspiring graphic artists, I got a quick tip for you today. I was trying to find anywhere online where I could get a clear and concise tutorial on how to create smoke in Inkscape. And I came up almost empty. What I did find was a whole lot of complicated tutorials and um, a lot of stuff that led me to Illustrator. So I decided to lay this down for you real quick. We'll try to make it as simple as possible. What you're going to want to do, at least what I discovered, is you're going to take the pen tool and uh, create your smoke layer, whatever it happens to be. Try to use as many clicks as possible to get a nice uh, random shape. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to fill it with something dirty, maybe something dirty and dark. Then you're going to get rid of the stroke. And then you're going to go up to filters. You go to, uh, in, the, in the ABCs, you're going to roughen it once and twice. And then you can go down to distort. And any one of these actually will create an interesting smoky pattern. Um, but I found pixel smear to be the best one for the technique that I'm showing you. So smeared in pixels. Look at that. And lastly, go to filters. You could stop there for a cartoony effect, um, but the coup de gras is uh, when you go to filters, blur, noisy blur, and that is a smoky transformation that will give you a vector based smoke that will convince anybody. Look at that. So I could take this exact same shape. And I could uh, create a column if I wanted to. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, there's no dummies out there. You get what I'm talking about. But I'll turn it on its side. There you go. Nice smoky column. All you got to do is build a burnt out uh, bomb shelter over here or something. So that's it. Uh, there is a number of filters that you could use that would give you something akin to this effect. Um, feel free to experiment and uh, post if you have any ideas because I'm learning right along with you.